Hello, PRA families. This is Alan McQueen, the Director of Operations here at Platte River Academy. We wanted to spend some time covering some high-level topics that are going to be a big part of the school year. And I will open with our Healthy School Meals for All program. I am sure you are all aware that we're serving free meals, but this is all coming from a tax um, initiative that was passed in November called Proposition FF. And this is something that will be continuing well into the future. The first thing that uh, we want to make sure everyone understands is that kids have to take three of the five components from grains, milk, a lean protein, a fruit and a vegetable. But one of those has to be the fruit and vegetable. And the kids are really getting a good handle on this, but we want to make sure that all of the parents understand that as well. The um, topic of portion sizes uh, continues to come up, especially with our older kids. And one of the questions that we immediately ask is, did you eat all five components? And if they did not, well, our recommendation is that they go back and try one of those. It does add to the bulk of the food and the total um, caloric intake, and it balances out the meals in, so that it's a healthy meal. But you can see on this chart that the portion sizes are set for kindergarten through eighth grade by the National School Lunch Program. And we are serving um, those lunch portions, but we have realized that a kindergartner and an eighth grader certainly are different sized people and need uh, different volumes of food. But currently that is not possible with the program we've got. We are asking our lunch vendor and um, our school food authority if there's anything that we can do and what, what's possible. But at this point, their answer has been, this is set above them and that there's not anything to do. So we do suggest that you supplement your kids' um, lunch if they feel like they're not getting enough um, bulk or calories. You can send snacks or you can add items to their lunch. Um, but we, we are asking uh, and continue to ask to allow uh, the ninth through 12th grade portions for our middle schoolers, and we're hopeful that that may turn into something in the near future. The other thing I want to talk a little bit about is our vendor. This is uh, Michaels of Denver, who has been a long-standing professional caterer in the Denver metro area. They uh, are, are competitors with uh, companies like Epicurean. So if you go to conferences or conventions in town, you may have actually uh, experienced some of their food. And they have very, very high caliber chefs that are preparing this food. And when they have a division called My Kids Lunch. Um, I think the tagline here tells a lot about their philosophy and um, why we're excited to be working with them. It says, lunch is a meal that should not come in a wrapper. And we want to assure you that you're getting or meals that uh, are prepared by professional chefs and we're excited to be bringing this balanced meal program to the students here at PRA. I'd also like to talk a little bit about a uh, topic that is going to be on the upcoming ballot. It's the Mill Levy Override and General Obligation Bond. It will be probably 3A and 3B or 5A and 5B depending on how many other initiatives there are. But we want everyone to know the facts behind this. And the first fact is that Platte River Academy will benefit the same as other Douglas County schools. We are not here to tell you how to vote, but we are asking that you do vote and that you vote in an informed way and you share facts with others that may not um, have all of the accurate facts. You can see here on this slide that Douglas County teachers average salary is $58,000 and they can go a mile up the road and get into Littleton and have an average salary of $73,000. And then even another mile north to get to Cherry Creek and have an average salary of $77,000. It is very difficult to recruit and retain the best teachers to work with your kids with that particular gap or discrepancy. And the only way to move that um, number up would be if a mill levy override were to pass. You can see that there's a gap of approximately $2,000 between every student um, in Douglas County Schools and Cherry Creek Schools uh, because of the mill levy override that Cherry Creek Schools has passed in, the, in, uh, in past years. This represents a $130 million gap. Well, that would go a long way to help the teachers in Douglas County Schools in at PRA. For sake of clarification, this would include all employees, not just teachers. So this would be the 
classroom aides, our office staff, our security receptionist team, our facilities team, our lunch team, everyone that's involved uh, at the PRA. The next thing we want to clarify for people is the fact that the recent property tax increases do not represent more income at the local level uh, the, uh, for Platte River Academy to spend on compensation. This is because of the state's requirement to have equitable access to educational resources uh, across the entire state, not being dependent on the zip code. So what does that mean? Well, Douglas County is a very large geographic area and has high density housing. Um, it has multifamily housing and it has homes of uh, great value. So there's a very high property tax potential. Well, the state knows that and then withholds some of its share because they know that the, this ca particular county can raise a lot of local funds through property taxes. Whereas if you go out to the Plains, say at Sterling or the Four Corners area, or down in Trinidad, Florence, or the you know Durango, or um, any of the areas on the Western Slope, they don't have as many homes or the density of homes or the value of homes as we do. So the state actually funds those more and they um, get less, they raise less local property tax. So the only way to actually move the amount of money that can be spent on compensation is through mill levy overrides. And the mill levy override is something that um, you can see here on this slide is being asked for uh, with a $66 million override. And if you look, that would be about, along with the bond, $200 per million dollar home per year. We do realize this is an additional tax burden. And so all voters will have to make decisions about their own family's um, financial situation. The mill levy override is the only way that uh, Douglas County Schools and Platte River Academy will be able to put more money towards its compensation. So if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out to me or there are uh, a lot of election information, statistics, and facts on the Douglas County School District website. Now I'd like to turn our presentation over to Becky Bonner, our Director of Academics, and she'll be talking about uh, an upcoming program that you'll uh, learn lots more about in the coming years. Platte River Academy has determined that Leader in Me is the best way for us to holistically improve all aspects of what we do here. Um, the unique approach that Leader in, in Me uses involves not just students um, and direct lessons that teachers provide in the classrooms, but also many staff-facing, adult-facing elements that support and enhance improvement strategies across the board. So as you see in the graphic, um, when you think about Platte River Academy, I know first thought is academics, and one also thinks about our caring culture and the focus on our four core values. We also strive to develop leaders. Leader in Me is doing just that. It helps us convince and um, uh, helps everyone engage in the mindset that everyone can be a leader. I included the slides about our guiding principles, not because they're new information, but because I feel like they correlate so, so, so well to the um, paradigms and the habits and the lessons that we will be walking through and experiencing with students in Leader and Me. And the first of our, our guiding principles is that we're fostering a sense of belonging. That's across the board. That is our cultural belonging among adults, um, both those who are staff and work within Platte River Academy, also adults who are visiting this school or families who are supporting through volunteering or are just here to engage in meetings. We want every family, every student, everyone who works here to feel like this is their school. 
and they are an active member of that school and they are a key leader in helping us pursue our mission and all that we are about. Um, the next guiding principle is that we honor traditions at Platte River Academy and in this, what we are doing is really embracing a culture that stands on that family orientation and that learning doesn't just stop in the classroom. It is a shared experience. It is an ongoing experience. And um, the third guiding principle is that our focus is on developing the whole child. Leader in Me approaches this concept of we are all leaders. Um, every person has genius. It is not just those who have been told that they are smart or have special gifts. Every one of us brings um, a gift and a special intelligence and genius to the conversation and to learning. And each child is on their own learning journey that is their responsibility. We're certainly there to shepherd them, to support them, and to guide them along that journey, both as parents and as the teachers and staff working with them here at Platte River. But the big idea in Leader and Me is we are all leaders and we start with leading ourselves. Leading self first helps us own our own learning journey. And from there, we develop the skills and practice leading others. And that's when we begin to serve our community. It is a lot of what Platte River has always been doing, but Leader in Me is going to help us um, secure our efforts and give us structures and frameworks to get there. This last slide is the overall framework of Leader in Me. Um, and it's a lot to absorb. But when you are looking at this slide across the top, you are seeing the paradigms that guide all of the messaging and ideas, how we see things. For example, if I truly believe that everyone can be a leader, not just me because I happen to have a badge that says I'm a leader at Platte River Academy, but everyone, students and teachers and aides and support staff and parents, every one of us can be, I will begin to do things differently, walk through habits differently, and as a result, um, I will begin to see outcomes that are different. And when we look at these paradigms, they are each ways of viewing the world we live in and helping kids see that change starts with me, for example, and I do have control and power over my circumstances, and I really can, um, I really can lead myself and find a way out of this problem. Um, that's a super um, powerful approach, and we very much want to help our kids learn that they have everything they need to encounter what ever may come their way and they're very ready to do it. So those final outcomes on that graphic, um, what we get, highly effective students and adults who are leaders in their school and community, truly we can't ask for more. Again, these are parts and elements of our mission and our guiding principles and the work that we do at Platte River Academy every day, every year for over tw for 25 years now. Um, but now we have a structure and a framework that supports the adults as they guide the kids through this learning journey. It's powerful work. We're just getting started. This is our first year with Leader and Me and the organization, which is Franklin Covey. So an underpinning is the, the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. Um, our whole staff did a um, professional development and a book study last year to learn the seven habits and start to embody and engage with them. And now we're super excited to share this um, with our kids and watch them develop as leaders. So um, we're all in this together. Again, it's year one. Um, 
the leader in me staff encourage you to go slow to do it well and anticipate that it's a full three years before you're fully implemented so we'll be sharing lots of information and you'll be watching your child develop along the way and we're excited to be on this journey with you